Are you serious? It's like, why are you all close now? Shall we? Or shall not we? Why, why, why shall not we? She said let's... Uh, His forward. life. Hmm? His life. Let's go closer. If you are going, this is the back of the stage. It's only if you are getting that. I need a video now. Mm. <laughs> mm. I want to return Right, I want to I want to
especially women in the house. Women, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Women, oh yeah! I greet us all, and we are so glad to be here. We thank you for coming out. We thank you for standing with our brother here in Abia State. And Exotic, we thank you for standing with Labour Party, especially the team of his of um, our president in the waiting. Mr. Peter Obi and his vice, Deti Baba Ahmed, we thank you for standing with the Labour Party and everybody. We greet you, we appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm not getting it, but I'm We are in strong solidarity with President Bito B and Vice President Ahmed Dati. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you so much. A very useful, modified, and obedient Nigerian. A round of applause for him. Very distinguished, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it's my honor to hand over the microphone to my uh, partner, Pastor Nike Wango, to continue with the protocol. Thank you very much. We would like to invite to the podium once again the National Chairman of Agri Party, the Labour Party, Comrade Barrister Julius Abure, to the podium. Please, can we put our hands together, a round of applause, as we bring to the podium the National Party Chairman of Labour Party. Put your hands together as he comes to the podium with his working committee. I can see Obo. Yes, I can see the chairman. I can see him coming with me. Thank you very much. 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 I can see with him the national vice chairman, Southeast, Comrade Emerson of KK. Labour Party! Labour Party! Forward ever! Labour Party! Abia Kwenu! Abia Kwenu! Welcome to our own presidential candidates to this flag of ceremony of our gubernatorial candidates. Very impressive. I also want to acknowledge the presence of our vice president. I want to acknowledge all the national working committee members here present. The state chairman and indeed other members of the state executive council. I want to acknowledge all our guests that have come to, to um, participate in this flag of ceremony. It is pertinent to put on record that we just did the presidential campaign in Makodi yesterday paid with states. The national vice chairman of our great party, as he was working on the field, felt something in his lungs. And, and that was how they rushed him to the hospital three days back. 
But yesterday, he passed on. Hey, the immediate vice chairman of this party in charge of North Central Zone passed on yesterday. Ati Shisha Ati, as he was working for the success of the rally of Peru yes. State. So I want to join all of us to rise up for one minute silence in honor of our vice of our vice the vice chairman Adi Shisha Adi who passed on yesterday in the course of working for this party. And the soul of all the people who are passed on is the one who is passed on. I want to use this medium to appreciate the people of Abia State for the massive support that the party enjoys in this state. Okay, I'm very happy to hear you. Yeah, I'm very happy to hear you. It's a pointer to the fact that the people of Abia is genuinely interested in making changes, not just in this state, but in the country. It is testimony to the fact that the Abia people is actually tired of the status quo. It is very clear that our people in Abia is desirous of change. And I want to assure you, on behalf of this party, and on behalf of the leadership of the party, that we shall provide leadership that will bring about that needed change. It is very clear that the challenges the country is Where going through and the need that they are staying yeah. is as a result of failed leadership over the years. Successive leadership have failed and have not done what they need to do in order to reposition the country and to reposition the state for greatness. I believe very strongly or the facts are clear that the people of Abia are very, very, very industrious. The people of Abia state and indeed the people of Southeastern state are very, very industrious. And therefore, that is why the people of Southeastern state, including Abia state, is the commercial nerve center of Nigeria. Therefore, with government support, with government initiative, with having a, pro, a proactive government, by having a, leader, a leadership or a government that knows what it do for what it will do for the people, then of course the sky will be the limit of the people of Abia states. And that is the leadership that the Labour Party wants to provide through our own gubernatorial candidates, comrades Alex Oates. We also appreciate the fact that he, if he becomes governor, he would be able to do it alone. And that is why Labour Party is parading credible, articulate, vibrant, result-oriented candidates. I don't know that that was all. He's no other person.
Eight years ago, we decided that enough was enough and collectively came together to defeat the evil cabal that had dragged our pen into the path of darkness, misery, poverty, unemployment, and economic retribution. We stepped into the ring and roundly defeated them. Our victory was so loud and resounding that it reverberated in the state legislative chambers where we won almost half of the available seats. But just like Ray Anderson said, the powers that keep people in bondage do not relinquish control very easily. The same axis of evil, knowing how defective the electoral act then in operation was, exploited it and shamelessly stole the mandate of Ethiopia. They had compromised many gatekeepers of electoral sanctity and bullied the state's returning officer into declaring a false and fake result. To their surprise, rather than details, their desire of remitting the guns that powered the ending of our struggle. Because I got to the judiciary. We are going to have to But the Supreme Court relied solely on technicality and reversed the judgment and awarded the PDP an undeserved victim. Like it is said, yeah, only the life. Only is now take a uh, uh, Of the close to 5 million people in our dear state, about 31% live in abject poverty. Not only where they are next being. But that is not all. About 51% of our labor force is unemployed. It means that nearly the one million adults, people, women, and seven can not find any job in our community. Not paying workers salaries has since become routine in our Some workers are owed as much as 30 months salary arrears. As this only polytechnic lost accreditation owing to over 30 months of unpaid electoral salaries. As if that is not enough, less than six months ago, our only teaching hospital, Abia State University Teaching Hospital, also lost its accreditation. Pensions are not paid. <laughs> Same with graduating. <laughs> Just last week, pensioners protested in Omoahia, the state capital. <laughs> so, two people to move. These are our parents who should be resting at home and looking after themselves. Thrown <laughs> into the circumstances that are the streets in protest of pensions. <laughs> So, up to 45 months. <laughs> How about roads? Most parts of the state are impossible. Are there, are there, are there, are there international markets received next to zero attention in the last decade. We know how traders lost goods walk millions of naira to flood. And that happened just recently. Healthcare delivery is in disarray. Why the educational system yeah. is lying comatose. Yeah. Our traditional institutions and rulers have become a huge joke as their stipends are hardly paid. They, they tell us why they the endure uh, humiliations uh, and intimidations. Why our debt profile has ballooned from 34.5 billion in 2015 to more than 150 billion at the moment. If we are dissatisfied in 2015, we should be outraged today. And collectively, we must rise and declare for our future and the future of our children that Ozola. Ladies and 
ladies and gentlemen, we have a job at hand. Starting from May 29, 2023, we will begin Abia's rebuilding process upon taking the oath of office. We will clear up the unpaid salaries and pensions Amen. so that our workers will have their deserved wages Amen. and our senior citizens the money to cater for their retirement years. We will begin industrializing our states so that our working population will have jobs. Our job creation program will focus on bringing back the industries that left Abia in the last 23 years. And by that time, industries like Abantex, modern ceramics industry, no wine, metallurgical plants, and international glass industry, and the rest. We will also directly build new modern ones, even if it means using government resources. And don't fear the framed, the framed lack of government's ability to do business. We will not run those big industries. We will build and transfer to the Appia private sector to run under different tested models. We will also intentionally get involved in the passing of thousands of new micro, small and medium scale enterprises. We will make this possible by combating this security funds which people pocket these days to a massive investment fund from which young people who want to do business can draw startup capital and pay back on friendly terms. <laughs> In all this, the aim is to create jobs and more jobs. We will move on one here and about from daytime economy to 24-hour economy. Amen. Night life. And the logic is that money that enters these two cities we never go to sleep. Lost city of money that puts profits in many hands and helps expand businesses. They are increasing our GDP from about 3.5 trillion today to about 7 trillion in no time. I will stop this on my video. To make this possible, we will build solid infrastructure including light up every part of the state and create local security so people can go about their business without fear. A full-fledged ministry will be set up to handle the renewal of infrastructure amongst other needs for ABA Metropolis. Our people who are into agriculture will receive massive support to produce in more modern ways so they can make more. Our industrialization policy will include the whole agricultural value chain. Ndiabia have said in the past that leadership at a high level is not for the inexperienced and unprepared. Today, we clearly outline what we will do and how we will do them. These promises are in our manifesto, which will be presented momentarily. Which, by the way, I wrote myself. I know everything in it, which is why I can tell you that we will do. I can tell you what we will do, how we will do it. The next class easier for everyone in this country. It's not, it's not painful. Please interrogate anyone else coming to promise you anything in this election. Beyond repeating the same old promises, you started hearing since 1999. Road, water, free this, free that. Ask them how they plan to eradicate poverty and create wealth for the citizens. And do not let them deceive you into sending to their manifestos, which I'm sure they may not have written. They do not know the content. Let them explain 
like I'm doing today. I'm sure you'll be wondering where we shall get the money to do all this. My answer to you is lose no sleep. That is our great secret. We know where all the money that exists anywhere today is. We do not need to travel in search of the so-called foreign capital. With Abia State ranking 32nd.